How's it going everybody? It's Mike from Hobby Biology. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas. I hope life has been treating you well. And I hope the new year we're going into treats everybody well too. I just wanted to make a quick update video since I really haven't been making too much content since I made the spider video, which is right behind me. Uh, I've just been a little busy with my own life, uh, which is like getting into college. I've found myself more busy with the terrariums than ever, honestly, so I've been doing that too on my free time and I just haven't been able to record too much. And I just wanted to have felt right not saying Merry Christmas and thank you to everybody who's been subscribed. Thank you for staying tuned. But that doesn't mean I don't have content for you guys today. I got chores that need to be done in the other room and I had something behind me that uh, is not good. So I'm not going to wait any longer. I'm just going to get right into this next topic. The Wolf Spider Project has taken a very bad turn. Turns out she's a female. How do I know this? She has eggs. <laughs> I'm going through a whole moral dilemma of I shouldn't have even taken the spider. I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't want to kill it, uh, but I also don't want a thousand wolf spider babies. So I've been working on a little way to counter this. So my plan was to build a little incubator to remove her from her terrarium and put her in this little uh, environment that, that she can incubate in. And in case they get out of that, God forbid, I wanted to put that bin inside a big bin. So there's a bin, there's, there's a small bin in a bin, a big bin. We're gonna make a little uh, environment in here. And then we're going to put that in here. And I still have to drill holes in the top of this bin. I planned on including some sphagnum moss too to hold humidity in. And with that, I got started. I added enough dirt, but I had to make sure it wasn't too close to the top so she couldn't climb out. And I didn't bother to include gravel or carbon since it's kind of temporary, but I made sure there was enough dirt for the toilet paper roll that I was going to be putting in. It works as a good temporary burrow. I added the soaked sphagnum moss and the fake plant. I went for a more simple approach, even though it looked somewhat artificial. I think it's just more practical for now. So I just went ahead and made a DIY lid and I put a cloth at the bottom so when I put the little incubator thing in it's going to be nice and warm for them. So I'd go behind my desk here and I'm just going to put the lid and everything on in the meantime even though she's not even in there. I just kind of want to get an idea of what we're working with. So here's the big lid, which looks very good, honestly. And I had this light I've been meaning to use for a while. So I'm going to go plug this right in. Oh, look at that. Well, I would definitely have to spin it the other way so I can see inside of that little cone there. But uh, it, it's looking pretty good. It's a little cloudy, but I think it's just enough to see through where it's comfortable for her. And it's just convenient for us. I just feel a lot safer having two layers of bin also for these babies and her to get through. God forbid they get out. So fast forward a couple days. She's out of her burrow right now. And uh, I guess I'm going to try and uh, scoop her up. So the move should be simple enough, I thought. It's less than four feet away, but I was looking at her and I knew it was going to be challenging. So I'm not gonna waste any time with uh, making a fancy recording with this. I'm just gonna try and grab her in this yogurt cup really quick and then put her in there. This is the moment of truth. Ay, 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 ay. Oh God, she's so reactive. I feel horrible doing this too, by the way. I'm getting so scared. She's really fast. Woo! Okay. 
There's gotta be a better way to do this. I got it off camera, but I got it. Oh my God. Oh my. She just walked right in. She just walked right in. Okay, now if anything happens here, that could be bad. Okay. Okay. We're just gonna set this down. All right, like that. Really stress-free, honestly. I'm surprised. She got chased around a little, but like, she she's all right. Mm. <sighs> Holy. Sh It is done. I just gotta make sure she can't climb out now, right? She's towards the back there. I'm seeing if she's uh, gonna plan an escape. I'm just gonna let her do, do her thing for a little. So in the meantime, I'm gonna water the moss that was in there. And this bin has pretty good ease of access to, to get in here, to feed her or do whatever I gotta do. I just gotta make sure I don't get it too damp because I didn't put any substrate in the bottom of this or anything. I didn't think it was really necessary. It's just a temporary enclosure. Live frog croaking down the hall? I'll be damned we got her in there in one piece and Everything is set up, it's looking great. This could not have gone smoother. Now we are just waiting for these eggs to hatch. And when they do, I'm gonna hope that there's a chance, a time, the mother is separate from the babies. I'm gonna put the mother back in her cage and I'll dispose of the babies. It's just clear enough where you can, I can see her through it, but I guess you can't with the camera. Oh, yes you can. You just see her barely through there. So I want to talk about the Newt Terrarium real quick, which is due for an upgrade again. Uh, this filter here is just, its health is going down. It's not cleaning the water as I intended it to. It's making noises. It, I don't know. So I plan on spring or summer of next year, upgrading these guys to a uh, mainly aquatic uh, set up. We're gonna have some driftwood and some rocks sticking out of the water to give them some land. But overall, I want a, uh, a aquatic area for them to swim, maybe maybe like almost up to a foot down or less. So that's about it for this video. I don't really have any more chores to do, but uh, I can show you guys this. I gave my toad a bath last week. I want to treat him with more luxury because he's more interactive than the other two frogs. And of course I got my gecko right here too that I can't forget. She's doing amazing too and she's due for a tank upgrade. I'm not forgetting about her. That's where I'm going to end the video. I hope you guys all have an amazing new year. I'm looking forward to what we're going to be able to accomplish on the channel this year. And don't forget to check out my Instagram. That's down in the description below. I'll be posting updates on the spider there. With that being said, I'm out of here. Thank you everybody. Alright, so here we are a couple days later. I'm looking in there and I can until it's holding humidity pretty well, so that's good to see. I spotted the spider. She's right up front, and I can see her pretty clearly. I wonder if she can see me. And it looks like her egg sac has changed color, so I'm assuming that's not great for me. Oh yeah, she like she probably sees me. Look at that. I am not trying to find out what's in there. I'd say overall this was a pretty good success. I'm not sure how to end this video really. Just uh, I'm gonna be working on my next big project. And a shout out to everybody who keeps coming back when I upload a video. You guys keep everything going, you mean a lot to me. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.